everyone, welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. I'm just going to move my camera a little bit because it looks just a bit not very straight. Let's see if that makes any difference. There's only a tiny touch that I moved it. Yeah, that's in a straight line now. But I'm just going to move it back a little bit as well. That's better. I tried to come on a couple of minutes early, but uh, Facebook wasn't having any of it. And then I realised that my phone was still on my private page and my, um, hmm, my Facebook page was on my Crafts by the Bow page. So, hi Jane, how nice to see you. Is your neck all better now? You feeling good? Um, I know that Laura's away at the moment. She's just coming back from vacation. And uh, I think there are a couple of people who are going to join us tonight. Oh, Laurie, hiya, just driving home. Well, some of the snow has melted. We, we tried to get rid of some for you, Laurie. But uh, we're expecting you to bring the sunshine back. Oh, I'm glad to hear you're starting to feel better, Jane. But it's terrible when you've got that in your neck and, you know, that pinched nerve. You can't move, you can't do anything, can you? So I'm so glad that it's starting to feel better. And now I think I've just jiggled the camera a bit so it won't be straight. Let's just try moving it back again. Let's see, oh, that might be a bit too far. <laughs> it's like tiny, tiny little bits that it needs moving. It's going to be half an hour of me jiggling about with the camera, I think. So, oh, and I can't tell from my phone. Oh, let's just go with that. It's working. Okay, so tonight's card is going to be... Um, inspired by a class I went to on Saturday. I did a demonstrator class with another demonstrator here in Calgary and uh, we had a sketch challenge and so I made my card at the sketch challenge and that's the card I'm going to make this evening but before I just start I'm just going to show you a couple of things. Oh Laurie left San Francisco. Oh. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry you had to leave. <laughs> I know you were having a lovely vacation. Okay, so a couple of things I just want to talk to you about. It's the very last week for the starter kit offer. We seem to get offers sort of every other month, but this is one of the ones I like, where you can choose product for your free gift. Sometimes they will say, oh, it's this particular stamp set that you get, or it's ink pads, or it's something, but I actually like it when it's product because you can buy just whatever you want. So it's $135, you choose $206 worth of product, and then there's no shipping on a starter kit, there's no GST, but you do have to pay PST, I think in BC and Ontario, there's a couple of other states, um, not states, provinces, I beg your pardon. Uh, there are a couple of provinces where we have to pay PST and you also get a free paper pumpkin. So you know, your shipping is 11% that you're saving. Paper pumpkins are just over $30 and uh, GST, you know, it's 5% here. So that's always a good offer, but you've only got until next Monday, just one week left. If you need something or you're interested in this, just send me a message. You don't have to be a, an active demonstrator who has classes, who um, sells to other people. You can keep it just for yourself. That's what I did when I joined. I just used my own discount for my own products. So that's that one. Um, the second one I want to show you is the snowman set and this is the class that we're having on November the 5th at 1pm. I've got two spots left and you get the stamp set and
and you get supplies for three cards. Here, here are two of them. And the third one I have all cut and ready. I just don't have one assembled to show you tonight. But these are two of the cards and you get all the little pieces, the envelope, the card bases, all the little embellishments. So there are two of the cards that we'll be making. And it is via Zoom. It will be recorded for those people who want the class. Okay, so let's move that one out of the way. And I want to show you the challenge that we were given. Oh, just let me move my um, messages on. There we go. So we were given a rectangular shape with a shape that went across, a circle and a little piece here that was for a sentiment. And that's all you're given. And I like these kind of challenges because there's no, um, there's no problem. You can choose whichever size of circle you want. You can change this to a narrow strip, a wider strip. It's just for inspiration. And this is the card that I made. And you can see that I was inspired from this card to make one of the cards for our class. But I made this one with an embossed um, background. So the white piece here is my embossed background. The rectangle you can do with card, you can do with design series paper, you can use an embossed piece if you wanted. I used design series paper. I used my circle to stamp my little snowman on and my little sentiment I actually just tucked behind like this. And so that became my sketch card challenge. Thanks, Jane. It's a cute little set anyway. I mean, you can't you can't make anything terrible with it. And so that was my challenge piece. And then this is the piece that I designed from it, ready for my class. So you can see it's the same, same basic pieces. I just moved some around. I moved the sentiment down to the bottom. I moved the circle to the middle. And I put an extra little strip in there as well. But again, it's embossed. So... I always think challenges are, you know, I, I'm always a bit nervous to start with. I think, oh, what if I can't think of anything? But actually, when you get a sketch challenge, it makes it dead easy. And sometimes, if I don't quite know what I'm going to make, I'll go to a sketch uh, and copy a sketch. And if you wanted, you know, there's nothing to stop you turning the sketch around, making it like this, putting your sentiment over here. Stamping your sentiment at the bottom. You know, you just make it work for you. Okay, we ought to have a challenge like that. Um, maybe I'll put it on the Facebook page and I'll put the sketch down and we'll see what we all come up with. Okay, so we're going to make this one. The stamp set I showed you, it's that snowman magic one. And I've hidden it right over here, but I'm going to need it, of course. So it's got the snowman, lots of little different images that you can put on the snowman. I love these little cool shades. Little rabbit, a little bird that you could make into a cardinal. I like this font. This is the, the one that I absolutely love. Little trees, snow banks. There are matching dies and I haven't used them on the cards for the class because not everybody will have the dies, but I do like this one. That makes sort of a border. Oh, let's take it off here. I normally put these straight onto magnet sheets, but I've only just got this, and so I haven't put it on the sheet yet. But can you see how it's going to make um, like a cutout in the middle with all these little snowflakes? So that's pretty cute. And I like the tree too. Uh, I don't. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with the dies yet. I haven't played with them. But uh, there's lots of pieces that you, you could use dies for, but there's lots of pieces that are easy to fussy cut as well. So if you've only got the stamp set, don't, you know, don't worry. Yeah, you're exactly right, Jane. That background glare, it makes it really pop when you are embossing. Okay, so I've got so many little pieces in here. 
This is the stamp deck. And can you see, here's that die that I was just talking about. So you can make it into a shaker card if you want. So that was that one. And then the paper I used was this little piece. And it actually comes from, it is in the catalogue, but it's not easy to find. It's really a host set. It's this one. This Celebrate Everything. And I only just got it. And I, I bought it with my rewards. So it's a $24.50 if you buy it with your stamping rewards. It's really $41 because, look, there are 48 sheets. So lots and lots of different ideas. I used this piece that's on the top, oops, as you can tell, and it's got these like almost like fireworks. That would be nice for New Year. Then there's this pink one. Some are busier with a not quite so busy background. Lots of different ones. I like these trees. I think these would be nice coloured in. Nice green on the back that you could use on masculine cards during the year. Christmas baubles. I'll go through a little bit faster. Stars. Mm, like the blue grid. That makes my eyes go a little bit wizzy. So, and then tree on the back. I'm going to go from the back now. I love this spotty one. With stripes on the other side. The nice green with the rainbow pieces. Little triangles and then fireworks, or that would be good for um, Diwali. I know Diwali's today, but that kind of a, a celebration. No, 18th birthday, 21st birthday, little crosses and fall leaves. Chevron with this green, I love this one. Uh, then stripes with Halloween. So there were lots of different celebrations in there. And uh, as I say, I should really have bought it earlier on so that I could be using it. But I've got it now. Okay. So let me show you what we're going to need. I do need my stamp set. And I've got a few pieces already cut. Oh yeah. 48 sheets. I know, it's just amazing. And let me just get, oh, I threw it on the floor. Let me just get it back again. So, uh, here, let me see how many pieces. Four each of 12 double-sided designs. Basic black, crushed curry, granny apple green, Pacific point, polished pink, pool party, poppy parade and shaded spruce. And so even if you don't get chance to use all the Christmassy ones this year, you can save them for next year or you can use the background, you know, the, the back page. So, so I do have lots of pieces already cut. I've got my base card, it's just half a piece of card. So it's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and it's Coastal Cabana. And then you need two white pieces. I've got more than two here. Two white pieces, one for inside and one for embossing. And they're cut at four by five and a quarter. A little piece of designer series paper from that pack. And this is four inches across by three inches down. But when you're doing a challenge like this, it really doesn't matter what size. You cut it to whatever size you want. Now, there's nothing to say I couldn't have cut that at two inches and had a narrower piece. Or I could have cut it bigger and only had a little gap at the top and the bottom. And I'm going to do my embossing first. Now, the embossing folder I want to use is one of these wintry 3D ones. And I want to use the snowflake one. But when I've got my piece here, these are narrow embossing folders. And so you can see when I put it in here, there's going to be a piece that doesn't get embossed. And so what I did was I embossed half and then popped it in again at the other half. The very middle, let me just get a piece that I've done, the very middle will not line up, but you can't tell 
because we've got this piece that goes across. So no, nobody's going to know that you can't, you haven't got the middle just lined up perfectly. So I'm just going to get my embossing folders ready and I've got my, oh, that was heavy. <laughs> I tried to pick it up just with my couple of fingers. I'm not that strong. <laughs> so I've got my cut and emboss machine. And then just, just the base, just the number one. And because it's a 3D one, I only need the number four plate. I'm going to line it up along this line at the bottom. That just makes it easier. So I'm opening it up and putting it on that line. And I'm only putting it so that it's going to emboss about half of the card. Let's move it along a little bit more. Okay. And I'm just going to put it in here, hinge first. Put this one on the top. Hi Janet, sorry I didn't see you were there. Yeah, I, I'm not very good at remembering to emboss either. So let's put that in. And emboss all the way along. I'm just actually going to make it go back again because I wasn't sure if I got the very tip of it in. Oh, I did. I did. Okay, so then I'm going to undo it. And you can see you've got a very faint line down here so you know exactly where you've embossed up to. I'm just going to move it to the other side lined it up again on that black line close it up make sure it's straight because i just wobbled it there we go put it back in and roll it back again i always think when i'm doing these thick ones and i've only got one plate and the base i think oh it's not going to emboss it's not deep enough but it is it really is. Okay, so when I take that out, can you see how now it looks like the whole piece is embossed? And on one side you've got the embossing, on the other side it's debossed. And you can choose which side to use. I'm going to use it so that the, the snowflakes jump up and they're uh, a little bit more prominent. Okay, so let's find, let's find our card. I'm going to put our card here so that you can see. Oh, in fact, I'll put it at that side. It's easier on the camera, I think. Yeah, it's easier on the camera. Right. So there's our base card. I'm just going to fold it in half. Let's, I haven't got my uh, bone folder out, so I'm going over with my little stamp block. And this is going to go exactly on the front. And it's just got that quarter of an inch border all the way around. Just lately, Gemma, I've been embossing a lot of my designer series paper with things like the, the more subtle um, folders. I think it looks really nice. It almost makes it look like a linen effect. So I'll do my stamping or on my designer series paper or um, I'll do my um, sort of on a, a piece of card. I might make the picture and the stamping and then put it through an embossing folder. And that's a really nice look. Now, I want to squish this down, but I'm worried that I, I'm going to squash all the embossing. So I'm just going to turn it over to do it this way. Now, you can put a plain piece on the inside, but you can also do what I did here. I wanted just to have a tiny bit of embossing. So I just put this through on the embossing folder, but I only put a tiny little bit of it through like this just so I had a little a little pattern and that's going to go on the inside I'm going to make it so that the embossing is on the right hand side there we go we missed you last night Laurie at, uh, from fold class but I did send you the recording. I hope you've got it. Okay. So there's our base card already made. Now for the next part of the sketch, we need this rectangle. And that's the four inch by three inch that I've already cut out. 
and I've only got it so that it, it's the width of the embossed piece. You could make it go across the whole card too if you wanted, but I just wanted that small piece. And I did four by three because that's quite economical when you're using the 12 by 12 design series paper. If you start doing sort of three and a quarter or something, then it makes it just that little bit um, sort of, you, you can still get lots of pieces, but you end up with a piece that maybe only is two and a half wide and you haven't got as many options. Whereas I find if you cut it so that it's in fours or in threes, then you do get more value from your paper. And you don't need too much paper anyway. Okay, so while that's all drying, let's do our little snowman. I've already pre-cut both my sentiment piece and my snowman piece, and it's from Stylish Shapes. I started off cutting one of the longer uh, labels, but I found that I only needed the small one. So what I've done is I've cut the smallest of the banners and the second largest of the circles. And when you cut them out, it's got this little stitched design on it. Okay, let's see. I only need one. I cut two just in case. And I'm going to use my um, piercing mat because I've only got a couple of sheets left on this pad of paper and so there's not a lot of cushioning on it. I'm just going to put the lid on my glue, pop that out of the way. Oh my, uh, my Facebook's telling me again that I need to move the, move the um, conversation down. I'm sorry if I'm missing some of the conversation. It seems to be that I, I see two or three of them and then it misses two or three. So I will go back afterwards and uh, just respond and reply. Okay. So I'm going to start with my little snowman. Let's see. Oh, I just want a different oh, to put it on. And they're photopolymer so you can see exactly through the, the stamps. You don't have to worry. One thing that I didn't notice until I'd stamped with it a couple of times is, can you see, it's not it's not um, straight up. His head looks like it's bowing down a little bit. I thought I'd stamped it wrong the first time, but that is how it's meant to look. So don't worry. <laughs> if you do what I did and think, how have I stamped that one, Key? But I hadn't. Okay, so I've got Smoky Slate. I'm going to stamp him in the Smoky Slate. And I'm putting him to the right hand side and I'm going to leave enough room for the trees, but I just want to put him off to the right. Okay, and then let's find where I've hidden my chamois cloth, because I don't need that one anymore. But I do need that little bunny rabbit. So we'll pop this one back and find that little rabbit. A tiny little thing. <laughs> Jane, I hear you. <laughs> That's why I do fours and threes. <laughs> so I don't have to calculate too many things. <laughs> I don't have to do too many eights. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, so here's just a little scrap that I'm going to put this rabbit on. And there is a die cut for this rabbit, but honestly, it's so easy to cut out. You don't need it. So if you don't have the dies, no, it's such a simple fussy cut. Okay, let's pop that little rabbit away. And then we're just going to do the trees and then we'll put the rest of the snowman on. So the trees I know are going to overhang a little bit because every time I've stamped them so far, they have. Let's pop that on there. And I'm using Coastal Cabana. I know trees aren't Coastal Cabana colour, but because my base card is that colour, I want it to match. So, just depending on where you put your snowman, you, you know, your trees will overhang just a little bit. Oh, 
okay actually and this one it's not too bad it stays just on the edge there okay but you can see on this one it just went slightly off the side of the card and i don't mind that it looks fine i don't have all my blocks out today um, i had a class last night the fun fold class and so lots of my pieces are still on those blocks uh, I haven't uh, I haven't got them all out yet okay so that little face you've got a choice of two faces one with little eyes one with eyes closed I like this one with the little eyes looking that way so that's this one I think let's find a tiny block I've got one of those near me and I'm going to stamp this in memento just in black Has anybody else got this set? Jane, have you got this? Or Janet? I've seen some really nice cards with it. I'm going to do some of my gift tags with it for Christmas. Because uh, when I was at the class, I was also um, watching Tammy and I've seen her make bows before, but she went through making bows really slowly and I made these. I loved these bows, I love these ones, where you cut the ribbon in half and I thought that would look so nice on a gift tag. You know, if this was your gift tag, I thought that would be really pretty on there. So then I decided I would use this for my gift tags. Okay, now there is a little nose if you want to stamp that. But honestly, I've got my um, pumpkin pie writing marker here so i'm just going to color it in but you could use crayons or markers or stamp okay. oh i need those three little buttons put in on so i'm using these three for these little buttons there's lots of tiny little details that you can add but if you don't want to add them it doesn't matter oh, let's put some on the bottom there we go oh look now i've squished it on here so I had to try and match it up yeah it's near enough uh, oh the smaller one that came with the punch uh, no more Christmas items do you know I kept promising myself that as well Janet I was sure I had enough and then then I liked this little bunny <laughs> so and then I liked that little snowman so I thought oh maybe I could maybe I could just get that but no more, no more. I've got plenty. Now, I see you saw where I just made a boo boo there. You could put little rhinestones on there, or you could just go over with a black um, marker pen, make it a proper circle if you wanted. Right, let's give him a little hat. I'm using this little tiny bobbly hat. You could stamp these separately cut them out and stick them on on a dimensional as well uh, I'm gonna go with purple because purple's next to me here I've I've made a lot of my Christmas cards but I want to make family ones for over here now this one would work perfectly for Anne Marie because I've colored in the bunny just like her bunny so I think I might use this one for Anne Marie's. Yeah, I'm going to find that little bow tie as well. That's this piece here. You could put a little scarf on. Um, actually, let's let's just see, see if it'll fit in with where I've put the buttons. I maybe should have put the buttons uh, waited until I got the scarf on, but hey ho. Let's put this one here. Just fitted in, look. Oh, eight. You only have eight sets that you haven't taken out of the package. Oh, come to my house, Janet. <laughs> I might have more than eight. Uh, I have a beautiful poinsettia set from a couple of years ago. Maybe. And it carried over last year. And I only made cards for my mum and my mother-in-law with it. 
and I think I did one card for my YouTube and then I forgot all about it and I found it a couple of weeks ago when I was tidying up and looking through all the punches and everything. Oh, I'll make some cards with that and then I bought this snowman. <laughs> so, yeah. But they don't go off, do they? You can, you know, you can keep using them. Uh, let's give him some arms. And it's these little pieces for his arms. And they're two different ones. They actually look... Um, can you see how they go a different way? Oops, that one's going to go that way and that way. So they've made it so that you know, it looks like his arms are up. The first one I stamped, I only saw that there was one. So I stamped one like that and one going down. And it looked cute, but not quite right. So I've got early espresso and his arm will go over the trees. And that's why I said I like to stamp those trees first because then it looks like he's slightly in front of the trees. Not this one up. Oh, Facebook wants me to move my comments down. There we go. It doesn't usually tell me to move comments down like this. So. Must be something in the, the new suite that they have, this new meta suite that they're using. Lots of different little things every week. And then you just think you've got it sussed and they change it. Okay, so I think that's all the stamping for him done. The only other thing I need to stamp is my sentiment. And I made this into a thanks card and I'm going to make the next one into a thanks card. And I thought they'd be quite nice for after Christmas to send out and say, you know, like, thank you for my gift and things. So I'm using this sentiment. Thanks so much. Let me just find where it is. That's the one. But I don't want all of it. I only want the thanks part. So let's get a bigger block and put it on here. And then I got my um, washi tape. And I'm just going to put it over when I find the end. It's not going to be available to find the end. There we go. I'm just going to put it over the words that I don't want. So I just have to lift it up just so that I can see. So I've got the thanks open and the rest covered over. Now I'm just going to squash it down a little bit and make sure that I can see all the letters on thanks. Yeah. Just making sure it's still on there. And then if I get the coast of Cabana. want to open. There we go. And I'm going to ink the whole thing up and then I'm going to take that washi tape off. Let's get rid of that. And I'm just going to stamp the thanks onto here. And I'm stamping it off to the right a little bit because some of this sentiment is going to be behind the snowman. If you didn't want to mess about and do it like that, you could use Stampin' Right ink markers and you just colour in, let's clean that, let me show you, you just colour in the word that you want. I only have pumpkin pie in front of me, so if I just wanted much, you just colour over the top, you don't colour any of the other words, let's stamp it on here near this little rabbit. So then you just get the one word that you need, all the letters that you need. Clean that bit. Hi Linda, nice to see you. Oh, thank you. Okay, that one back. Um, the Coastal Cabana can go back. Oh, I need to colour this little bunny rabbit in. So I've just got, what is this, flamingo? Yeah. I've got dark flirty flamingo here. I'm just going to do that one with Leah. And all the rest I'm doing in light smoky slate. Because there's not a lot of um, skill here in colouring. You've seen me colour before. I don't, I don't have that much skill in colouring. I'm going to go over the whole thing. Apart from his little tail.
and then I'm going to go round his little bottom a little bit more on his back leg and then just across the bottom there and that little ear I'm just going to give it a little bit more shade and that's it that's all he's getting then all I need to do is just fussy cut him if you have that little puff paint you know the one the little white paints that you dab on and then you use um, like a heat tool and that as it dries it goes fluffy you could put that on his little tail or a little dimensional and uh, if you could cut this one out again and pop it on with a little piece of dimensional or you could put a little gem on there you could make it just as cute as anything now I'm just going to cut a little bit more that's it there okay I'll throw much away we don't need much and let's get rid of this I told you it's an easy card to make um, I just have to see here it is have to see where it's gone so on the sketch let me put the sketch back the circle went just over the edge of the little rectangle so I'm just going to use my dimensionals and I'm going to add this so that the bottom of the snowman is just on the little embossed layer you could use some of the snowflake sequins that we have and you could add little snowflakes around the snowman as well. Or you could colour in some of the snow with the Wink of Stella. Oh, talking about colouring in, I don't think I did the snow. I'm going to pop this on and then I'm going to go back and just do my little snow piece. So all I did, it's really hard to see, but it's just enough to give you the effect. I used my very light pool party and just made a little uh, made a little background there I popped the trees in I didn't really color in all that well I just made little lines like this and remember you're not going to see some of it anyway because the little rabbits on there there we go and it just gives that effect of being a little snow bank okay so I need another little dimensional for my little rabbit and I did try to make it just like Lenny and like Marie's little rabbit he's a little house rabbit and uh, it's quite partial to bananas so whenever you go visit him um, my husband seems to have a uh, a never-ending supply of banana pieces for him. Uh, he's not allowed much at a time, so I think the rabbit gets half a bite and my husband gets the rest. <laughs> but it makes him happy. Okay, now, just gonna give, oh, let me poke that under there. I'm going to chop a little bit off. I don't need it sticking out all that far. There we go. So I'm just going to, there we go. And then pop that little piece down. And so there's the one I made on Saturday at my sketch challenge class. Here was the, the sketch itself. I think that was over there actually. And I'd put mine behind. And then here's my little card from tonight. With our embossing, just a small piece of design series paper, little snowman magic, and a little 3D bunny there. So that's my card for this evening. Uh, oh, safe, safe journey home, Laurie, and uh, we'll see you too. Oh dear, Linda's husband, I'm really sorry if <laughs> you've got to watch my video. <laughs> I apologise in advance. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> Linda, you are funny. Okay, so I'm going to love you and leave you, ladies. I hope you'll have a go at this and I think I'm going to put this on the Facebook page, this sketch challenge, 
and then let's see what everybody else comes up with. And uh, I'm sure you'll have lots of great ideas and probably better ideas than I had for my first one, but it grew on me and I really love that now. Uh, and I don't know if you saw Linda, I'd used the sketch challenge on Saturday when I was at a class and then I actually made one of the cards for our snowman class in it as well. And so I used basically the same things, I just moved the images around. I put this one in the middle and the sentiment I put across the bottom. So you can move the, the sentiments wherever you want and a sketch challenge is just that, it's a sketch. You make it work for you however you want it to be. So enjoy your evening ladies. Thank you so much for watching. It was lovely to catch up with you again. And I'll see you all again really soon. And Linda's husband, bye. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>